Hello and you're very welcome to this pit stop for Jetpack Joyride, designed by Michal Globiowski, published by Lucky Duck Games. In Jetpack Joyride, each of the players is going to spend three rounds racing across a modular map in order to collect as many coins as possible to fulfill objectives, to avoid the hazards in front of them, using gadgets in order to score the most points after those three rounds. Now, first of all, each player is going to get a board numbering one to four, and these are modular, and each of them has got two sides and there's four of each. And there is actually the option to do a sort of system if players are showing more aptitude, there are harder boards which you can mix in. Now, this map you're going to travel across during the course of a round, then you're going to pass it to play on your left. So everyone's going to get to use each other's maps over the course of the game. When a game starts, everyone says go. And then they're going to take one of these polyomino pieces. You must start slightly off your board, at least one space off. And then in real time, each of the players is taking shapes from the middle of the table, looking to play them onto their own board. Now, when you play a shape, the first rule is the start square of the place the piece that you place next must be adjacent orthogonally adjacent to the piece that you just placed the other rules are that you cannot go above or beyond the top or bottom of the board but what you're mostly looking to do is connect up to these coins as you go along and you're looking to avoid these lasers and these rockets as hazards now the game is going to continue going with all the players grabbing these as quickly as they can and put them in play until either one player makes it all the way across the board and they say finished and then everyone must stop or everyone decides they don't want to play anymore <laughs> and they say pass or the possibility is that all these pieces in the middle will run out because you have slightly fewer if you have less than the maximum four players playing whoever the round finishes you stop there each of the players is then going to check their path to make sure it's legal if it's not legal during the course of when you're playing, you can take them back off again, but you have to start from your furthest most and move backwards to the one that's legal and then move forward again, delaying you in your turn. You check and see all the coins that you've covered over, they're worth one point each. Unfortunately, each tile that touches a hazard such as this one is gonna take three points off that score. Now that's the base of your scoring, but actually in each round, you're also gonna get missions that are played out. And these are going to be worth a very number of points. For example, if I collected all five coins in a sector, that would get me three extra points for this run. If I place four full tiles in one sector, three extra points. Run 10 blocks on foot. That's all the way across the bottom if I touched. Or there's also ones for running across the top. And there are various ways, and there'll be three of these for each of your three runs in the game. Also, at the end of round one and two, gadgets become available. And there's one gadget put out for each player in the game. And then they get the benefit of that gadget for the next one or two runs, depending upon when they get hold of them. And what sort of gadgets can you get? Well, some of them will start you off, for example, this turbo boost. Before anyone else gets to go, you get to take two tiles and put them on your board. Or this missile jammer means you can now go through missiles. It doesn't make any difference to you. You won't lose those three points. Maybe you'll look to score more points with your gadgets. These air barriers will give you two stars for every time that you jump off the floor. For example, if I played this one here like this, if it was correct, and I came up, that would score me two points. Or lucky last is quite tricky, but can get you lots of points because for every tile that matches the last tile you played, you're going to score a point. And there are only five different types of tiles here, although you can flip and reverse them as you wish. Over the course of the three rounds, you're going to score points for hitting those coins, for doing your missions, and you're going to lose points for hitting those hazards. And whoever has scored the most will be the winner of Jetpack Joyride. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit Podcast. Thank you.